this is a quick video to show you how to uh, analyze and design a 3d structure in stat pro so the structure that we have here is uh, uh, is the what we have here is a column layout of a structure where you can see that uh, you can see columns spaced at 3.5 4.5 and 3.5 in the x-axis and uh, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, and 3.5 uh, in the y-axis. And then we have a G plus 2, which means we have ground, and then two stories above. Uh, we are assuming the beam sections to be 0.23 meters by uh, 0.3 meter depth, and then column dimensions is 0.23 by 0.23, and the slab thickness to be 0.12 meters. The concrete strength is assumed to be 28 megapascal, and the yield on steel yield strength is assumed to be uh, 420 megapascal. All the supports are fixed and we have only two types of loads, the dead load and the live load. The dead load is uh, the only the self weight is assumed and for the live load we are assuming a distributed load uh, on, on the slabs. So uh, let's quickly get to it. So uh, once we open up STAD, we create, take new project and we see uh, we select space. Let's name it as uh, frame 3D. We select meter kilonewton, and next we select the option add beam. Uh, we would directly go into. Or we can also go into that uh, open structure wizard, but I'll just show you how it is taken from uh, the main menu. Finish. We select. Once it is all loaded up, we select Geometry, Run Structure Wizard. And here we go into Frame Models and then Bay Frame. Double click on Bay Frame. And then we have to provide uh, the length, height and uh, height and width of the problem. So when we look at the problem, we have uh, the width as uh, 3.5 plus 3.5, uh, 7 plus 4.5, we have uh, 11.5, and, and along the depth it is 4.5, 4.5. Um, so that equals to, I guess, uh, it is uh, 17 because 4, uh, 9, width is 17, and then we get into a frame. We provide the length as 11.5. We have uh, three bays and then the height, the receiving story height of uh, um, uh, 9 meters. 9 meters and we have uh, how many bays? We have three bays and then the width is uh, 17 as we calculated and the number of bays at 4. Now we need to customize it here, it should be uh, 3.5, 3.5, okay, and then the height 333, and then the width as 4.5, and 3.5, click apply and we get the structure here. Now to import it into the STAD interface, merge model with STAD Pro, and click yes, and uh, click ok, this is a point of origin, and then it is created. Now let's hide the grid, and now we uh, notice that when we take the top view, we see that uh, these uh, members are extra, because that is not uh, part of the structure that we are going to design, so we will just select these, like this, and hit down delete, and then again we select select these, and we hit on delete, and these are deleted. Now we can see that uh, the structure has been created. Now what we are going to do is we are going to um, delete some of the. Uh, sorry, we are going to add the uh, the slabs. We'll use uh, the four nodded plate elements. So let's take the front view, let's hide this because I want to draw the uh, slabs. 
So I'm just going to use cut section here. I'm going to select to view uh, rubber window rubber band. Okay, and I'll select this. Um, so it's the other way around. So I'll just go into section, select to view. Okay, change the view as front view, and I'll select this. And the remaining is hidden. And then I will I will take the phone ordered uh, plate element, and then I'll just add one here and have one here and that's it now if i uh, take the whole structure then i can just make sure that i've added it properly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy these slabs onto the upper floors so i'm just going to uh, <coughs> select the tool uh, i'll use the select the plates cursor and when i select i select the plates alone and then I use this translation tool and then I'll use the number of steps is 2 because I need 2 of them and the default step spacing is 3 meters and then the direction is Y and hit OK and as soon as it is done we will we can select it again and we can see that the floors have been copied we can also make sure that it is uh, correct by just uh, hitting on the render the uh, 3D and then we see that the structure has been slabs, the uh, floors have been added. Now once this is done, we have to now get into uh, geometry. The geometry has been done, we have added everything and then we get into structure, uh, general. And when we get into general, we need to uh, specify the cross-sectional cross -section details of the beam, column, as well as the thickness of the slab. So I'm going to define uh, the first section is going to first is going to be the beam. Uh, the depth of the beam YD is 0 0.3 meters and the width of the beam is 0 0.23 meters. And the material is concrete. Click add. And I'm going to create another one which is the beam, which is the column, which is just 0 0.23 by 0 0.23. And you can see that it is added. Now we need to assign the thickness. So let's get into uh, thickness and then we will assign 0 0.12 and it is updated on all the four nodes and hit on add and that creates three sections that need to, needs to be assigned now we need to assign the beams now it is difficult to select all the beams one by one there is an easy way to select all the beams so you just have to hit on select and select beams parallel to you know that we need the beams are all in the XZ plane so we just select beams and X and select again repeat it uh, select beams parallel to Z and all the beams have been selected now uh, this have to be assigned and then we just assign to select beams assigned. now beams have been assigned you just click somewhere and you now we're going to assign so click on the column the section that we are going to assign for the columns and then hit on uh, select select beams parallel to y and all the uh, columns have been selected now hit on assign to select beams and assign and the select sections have been assigned and uh, in plate section we can just hit assign to view because the only plates um, uh, I mean, when I select this, only the planes will be affected by it. So I just uh, hit on plane uh, thickness and I assign to view. You can see that all the, the sections have been assigned. Now the next um, parameter, that next parameter that we need to assign is the support. We will create a fixed support. Okay. And then we need to assign it. So let's change the view uh, to front view, and then we'll use the cursor to assign. Use cursor to assign. Assign. I just sorry. Uh, I'll just uh, use the node selection. And assign to selected nodes. Assign. And as, uh, as soon as I change my view, I've I can confirm that I have assigned it properly. And the next important thing is uh, load definitions. Hit on load cases, add, and then we have one dead load and one live load.
code so let's call it as dead and we have live and let's call it as live and add now within the dead load case we need to add the load which is self weight and self weight by default is y minus 1 just add it and then the next thing that we're going to assign is the distributed load so i'm just going to click on live and then in there is something called floor loads and in floor loads uh, it is very easy to assign floor loads because we specify the range between which the loads have to be applied we don't have to select we don't have to assign uh, plate by plate we just specify the range between which a particular uh, load pressure has to be assigned on the slabs so i'm just going to use minus 3 which means it's in the minus y direction and i want my load to be applied right away from 3 meters all the way to 9 meters so i can give anything between anything uh, outside 3 to 9 so i can provide anything like 2.9 meters to 9.1 meters or simply applying 3 to 9 will be enough so i'm applying 3 to 9 and i hit assign and you can see that immediately the load has been assigned we don't have to assign it plate by plate and then in the self weight we will hit assign to view because we need to consider the safe self weight for the entire structure now let's also add a load uh, combination which i mentioned earlier let's name it as 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load and i have to import both and that will be 1.2 and this is 1.6 and add close so all the loads have been assigned now uh, we are in uh, a good shape to do an analysis so you can hit on either you can go to commands and add analysis or you can just hit on analysis and hit add and we can perform a structural analysis so analyze a run analysis and we see that there are no errors no warnings and we can go into post processing to see the results so hit on ok and then we can see the axial loads we can see the uh, moments moments from the dead load, moments from the live load and from the combination and we can also see the deflections you can see the deflections from the live load, dead load and so on also you can double click on a beam to get the bending in the beam the deflection in the beam and, uh, and so on now we have since the, the analysis uh, is as expected we can see the bending moment diagram we select any beam over here we can see how uh, the bending moment is varying uh, along the section now what we can do uh, we need to do is to do the design so let's go back into modeling and then i'll select design select concrete design and I select the standard as ACI 318 now, now I need to select a few parameters which I parameters that I'm willing to assign for example I'm willing to use uh, some clear cover for example of these three that I'm willing to add then also I'm planning to specify my FC prime FY uh, main and FY secondary uh, so on so i just add them and click on ok now define parameters you can define these parameters these parameters have been selected and you can define these parameters for example i'm sorry it should be the other way around because uh, we have to unselect all of these and select what is to be added here as you can see it is available parameters and selected parameters select these click on ok and then i'll define the parameters i'm using uh, a cover of uh, 50 millimeter for example or 25 millimeter i'll change it to 25 add 
I'll change it to sign the CLT as 0 0.025 meters and then the FC as uh, 28,000 kilometers per meter square which is equal to 28 uh, megapascals add and then we add FY mean as 42, uh, 42 megapascal which is equal to 40, 420,000 kilonewton per meter square and then the Y secondary as the same value and hit close before it has been added. Now we need to assign it to the entire section so assign to view select each one of them assign to view assign to view assigning the concrete assigning okay now since we've assigned all of these we can get into the design we can also provide uh, we need to also provide uh, the design beam command the design column command and takeoff command now to assign uh, design, we have to add this at the column and take off. It is for material uh, calculation. And we are going to assign the beam. To assign the beam, again, we have to select the beams along. So we get them to select beams parallel to. Uh, we have to select beams parallel to X, select beams parallel to Z, and then again select beams parallel to x select beams parallel to z and hit assign and to this define the column select uh, this command select beams parallel to y and assign and that assigns the design command and then we are in a uh, good shape to run an analysis so click on analysis again hit on add close and then we will perform the analysis and analyze run analysis and we have zero warnings zero errors and then we can go out into uh, the post processing mode where we can see the design um, the design for example we get into uh, one of the members and select this one we can see that the concrete design tab has been added the concrete design details have been specified here uh, the type of rebars the, uh, the number, we need two number of rebars uh, at 256 mm spacing all the way from uh, at 256 mm now it is the area provided here and then we have uh, sorry this is the spacing uh, and then we have Oh, sorry, from this position all the way up to 635, and again the positions, and then the stirrups that can be provided, and these are the cross sectional details at uh, the end section, at the at these ends, and at the middle. Uh, we can print them, and we can have so again to view the properties of the column, we can just click, click on one of the column, concrete design, and you can see the column design details number of bars and the size and so on 